Welcome everybody to my next gaming review for ScrewAttack.com and today I'll be reviewing Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. As you can probably notice, unlike my last review, this one actually has video. So enjoy and watch Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games for the Nintendo Wii. As you can tell from the title, this game follows like its predecessor Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games by having an awesome opening cinematic cutscene which really hypes up the game for you, making you see making it seem like this game is going to be awesome. When in turn, the cinematic cutscenes is probably one of the best parts of this game because without this cutscenes, it's pretty much almost a completely worthless game. But as you can see, the graphics are very good for the Wii. And unlike its predecessor, it doesn't just take place in the Olympic Stadium. It takes place throughout all the mountains in Vancouver, Canada, or in their specially made Olympic skating ring. But mostly out in the mountains. Just like its predecessor, you have a selection of events, all I mean, such as skiing, snowboarding, bobsleigh, skeleton, and also one of my favorite and one of the only few things of this game, figure skating. Of course, some of you may complain that, oh, figure skating is for girls. Well, shut up. Even some of the most manly characters in this game figure skate. But there's also hi ice hockey. And there's also that thing called, uh, what's the name of that game? It's a game where you push the puck down the thing. There's the bobs, the dual person bobsleigh. Then there's also the, the skating race, which is pretty cool. Metal Sonic is actually in this game. Then there's a, there's a snowboarding race. But where in the game can you do that? That makes no sense how, how they can lie to you like that, but that's probably to get people more hyped. And now, this is review number two of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. It's another one of those weird sporting games, such as Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort, Mario and Sonic Olympic Games, and now this one. I will be reviewing the original Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort in, at a later date, but for now, let's stick with Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. In this game, you can check your you can check mail that gets sent to you through the game, which is pretty much just telling you stuff has been unlocked, such as suits and other stuff, which can become seasonal. Then you can play the variety of winter games, so, as I mentioned before. But in this game, you can also use the Wii Balance Board, and they included a training mode where you can try games. And unlike the predecessor, it actually has a story, known as the, the festival, where you pretty much play through the Olympic Games. In this game, you can select, you select your players right away before you even pick the event. By selecting your player, you limit the amount of events you can pick, but in first player, you can pick whatever ones you want. There are ten genres of sporting events, which include alpine skiing, ski jumping, snowboard racing, snow, free sky, speed skating, figure skating, and a ton of others. The dream events have 12, 11 events to choose from, five of which I have yet to unlock. And, oh, and that thing is curling! That one event is called curling. And unlike the predecessor, you have a multitude of 20 characters to pick from, instead of 16 from the original. Newcomers in involve Metal Sonic, Baby Bowser, Silver, and Vector. The two main characters are, of course, Mario and Sonic. Then there's Amy, Luigi, Blaze, Bowser Jr. as his normals, Silver, Dr. Eggman, Waluigi, Tails and Peach for the skill, but Knuckles, Bowser, Vector, Mario, and D Donkey Kong as the power, and there's so Super Metal Sonic, Yoshi, Shadow, P Daisy, and Sonic as the speed. Unlike in most events, I'll be going right to figure skating, 
And in figure skating, all you do is do, do Wii Remote combos to get to the main part. And in this game, there are numerous controls, which, which pretty much just include flicking the remote down, flicking it up, doing a spin, holding the remote styleways, and when the game starts, you get to pick your music. Which is kind of weird because they don't—they have the download function from the that from the store, and they don't let you skate to that music. I guess they wanted to keep it more realistic, but it's a game with figure skating animals and robots. They failed in the realistic department. One thing this game is really horrible at: the super long load times. You're like, you can, I can play a game on my DS long, you know, in the take, time it takes it to load. By the time this feels over, here comes the game. And of course, just like in the previous games, the other people went before you even started. And now, you have to wait for this animation to be done. Metal Sonic brags like a little. Okay, I'm not gonna go there. And now, unlike most games, you say when it's time to start. And now you're just skating, skating, and then you have to flick down, flick down, flick down, enough flicking down, then just hold, and then up to do a spin, and then all you have to do is pause the game, and you get the selection, but I'm not going to quit yet. And now, it's time to do more of the game. Spin, 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 spin until you throw up, and then you keep going. When you get to this part, you know your time is up, because now you get to the spinning rotation, which shows the end of the of this match. You keep spinning and spinning and spinning, and then it tells you to flip the remote like how it's shown in the picture, by the, and if you get it right, you get perfect, and then the song is over. Then you get brought out of this game to the stadium, I mean, to the giant podium that shows which if you won, which I did not do that good, which means I got second. And let's see how hard is it. I lost by by 1.6 points. Oh well, better luck next time. In this game, the medals look different. In the previous game, they just look like normal medals, but this time they don't even show you the medals. They give you the selection screen right away. And with that entail, next up, another long loading screen. And it gives you to the to the credit card scene, which it depends how many points you get, which shows you how many points you earn. And then after that, they bring you back to the home menu to select another game. Mario and Sonic the Olympic Winter Games is an okay Wii game. Not one of its best, but not one of its worst. Its cinematics are okay, and it, and it has fine graphics in the gameplay itself. So this time, I give Mario and Sonic the Olympic Winter Games a 9.0 out of 10. This has been another Bonfire Gaming Review. Stay tuned, and I will show you more of the best and worst games for the Wii and GameCube. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.